Hi there and welcome to Drawing for Kids. Even though we're not together at the library, I am so excited to be able to draw with you all today. Today we're going to be drawing incredible treehouse illustrations. For this project, I recommend using a white sheet of paper, a pencil, an eraser, and then some kind of colorful material. It could be crayons, colored pencils, markers, even watercolor paint. I'll be doing two drawings today. The first one will be in a cartoon style and the second one will be more realistic. Feel free to draw along with me or watch me draw first and then begin. I'm gonna first start by drawing in my tree and then I will start drawing in some of the tree house base. Just a basic pentagon shape. The pentagon shape is great for the house because it has a pointed rooftop. I'm starting to add in other details, more tree branches, for example, my door, my windows, the trim around the windows and the door, as well as a doorknob. I then want to draw in a ladder, so I have to have a way to get up to my tree house. So I'm going to draw a ladder in my drawing, but be creative here. How else could you possibly get up to your magnificent tree house? Even though we're still sketching out our details here, I wanted to mention that if you want to outline your pencil drawing later with a Sharpie or another black pen, that can be a great way to make it feel more cartoony and just add in some extra depth to your drawing. So be thinking about that. Also, after this video is finished, keep adding fun details. Add all sorts of different things, add swing sets in your background, add little bugs crawling on your tree, a bird's nest in the tree, a person looking out the window, all sorts of fun details that you can customize your drawing with. All right, so you can see that I'm adding in some extra texture with the bark of my tree. I'm also adding in a couple extra tree branches to give it more depth that are that's overlapping in front of the tree house. You also might just want to change up the tree house itself. Maybe you wanna make it more like a tree castle or maybe it's a two-story house. Whatever you want it to be, this is your time to use your imagination and create a really fantastic space that is all yours. And it's the treehouse of your dreams. It can be whatever you want it to be. You are the artist here and you get to decide how you want it to be. So have so much fun with this. As you can see, I'm starting to block in the general shape of each cluster of leaves in the trees. So even though we don't really have many leaves here on the trees in Michigan, uh, we can use our imaginations. We remember what those leaves look like. And all I'm doing here is drawing in the basic shapes. I'm not drawing in each individual leaf really. I'm showing that they're kind of fluffy by making lots of curvy marks and lots of little lines to show the texture of the tree. But I'm making sure that I'm going all around my whole tree. I'm not leaving any tree branch without leaves. So I'm covering the whole space really well and adding in lots of thick lines and also some thin lines as well. So I would encourage you to keep drawing, keep sketching in different ideas. I'm gonna go ahead and start adding color to mine, but again, you should keep adding more and more details. What else could be on the ground? Mine's really empty and kind of sad, so keep drawing more details. But I wanted to show you what this can look like once you start adding color. So I'm starting to add some color here to the leaves. I'm blocking in a dark green and a medium green and light green colors to color in the leafy parts of my tree. And you can do whatever colors. If you wanna do more fall colors, you can choose to do that. You can add flowers in your tree. Maybe it's a fruit tree, maybe it's an apple tree and you wanna draw some little red apples. I think that would be fantastic. So think about what else you can add to your tree to make it unique. I'm choosing a grayish brown color for the tree trunk and branches. And then I'm gonna color in the tree house with a nice, bold, bright red color. So as I'm coloring that in, I'm using a um, 
marker and a blending tool here to color it in so you can see I'm adding a little shading to the windows and then a little brown door. So um, the other thing that I want you to do is think about a background space. So add some green grass, add some blue sky, whatever details you want to do. So you can keep working on that one, but I wanted to go ahead and show you the second tree house that I drew that is in a different style. So you can see with this one, it has a more focus on dimension and texture and shading. So this is a great option for those of you that are older than third grade. Okay, so I'm gonna start with a very, very light pencil sketch. And what I'm starting with is my treehouse on this one. And I'm making sure that it looks like it's in perspective. So I'm drawing the side of the treehouse to show that it's not just a flat building, that it actually has sides to it and a roof. And then I'm going to start building in my tree around it. So you can see on this one, I am drawing the leaf shapes in first, and then I'm going to start building in the tree branches and the tree trunk around it. As I'm sketching this in, I am going to go ahead and add in a couple extra little tree branches as well as details such as my ladder and I think a tire swing would really be fun to do on this one. And once again, like I mentioned with the other drawing, be thinking about what kind of details that you want to add. Again, maybe you want to add flowers into the tree, maybe you want to add twinkly lights to your tree house. Again, like a bird's nest, other details that you can add will be a really cool, nice touch to make your drawing unique. Make sure you don't neglect the background. The background is really important. You want to ground your tree with some grass, maybe some flowers on the ground. There could be a rainbow in the sky, lots of fluffy clouds. There could be trees in the background, all sorts of different Now details. once you're happy with your sketch, go ahead and start adding in colors. This one I'm adding in some shading details where I'm pressing down harder with my colored pencil and I am darkening some areas and lightening others. So as you're adding all sorts of different colors and details to your drawing, I really want you to be creative. I encourage you to not just draw what I'm drawing, to not just choose the same colors that I'm choosing, but be really imaginative here. Take advantage of the time that you have right now to be creative and to just color and draw and to draw what you want. This is a tree house. This is the idea is to draw a really fun, imaginative tree house, but you can make it your own here. So what kind of colorful designs will you add to your tree house? Mine's just plain and simple, but I hope to see some really colorful drawings after this. And remember that it's okay to make mistakes. I'm sure you've noticed in my drawing that I have made quite a few mistakes and I've done this project now twice with both of these treehouse drawings and I'm still making mistakes. And that's totally okay because that's what erasers are there for. So make a mistake or try out a different idea because we can erase. Remember to press down really hard with your eraser so that you erase your pencil lines all the way. Even if you're using colored pencils, you can usually erase a little bit. Now, if you're using markers or crayons, it's a little harder to erase, I will admit. But what that means is that that gives you now an opportunity to turn that maybe weird little tree branch into a squirrel in the trees, for example, or something else. So think of mistakes as an opportunity to draw something new that you wouldn't have otherwise drawn. Okay, so I'm adding in a few more leaves into my tree. You can see that I'm also adding in lots of dark green, medium green, some light green, some yellow green. So I want to make sure that it's not just plain green, but I'm adding in 
lots of textures and also shadows and highlights. Um, as I'm doing that, I'm also thinking about what I want to put in the background, what I want to put on the ground, and other details that I might add. Okay, I'm just going to add a little extra detail here into my tire swing. And now I'll start with my background. I'm just gonna block in the green grass and um, I do wanna add a little bit of texture as well as a shadow that is being cast from my tree. So I'm going to put the shadow a little bit to the left but also just kind of in front of the tree um, and adding in a little more texture with that. After I'm done with that, um, this is now a good chance for me to add other details into my whole drawing. So I'm looking at my drawing as I'm adding these final details, and I'm thinking it'd be nice to have a bright blue sky filled with lots of clouds. So the way I have to do this digitally is a little bit different than how you would do it. Um, so bear with me as I add these details, but I'm adding up the finishing details now, and... There it is. I'm just going to go back in now, add a little extra shading in some places, some shadows here in my ladder, so you can see me adding that in. Um, I also want to add shadows into the railing around the treehouse, so you might see um, little tiny shadows there on each of those posts. And again, that just gives it a little bit more dimension. So I'm just gonna spend another couple of minutes working on my treehouse itself. I really like the way my tree looks. I like the background, though I could probably add more details. Um, but I'm just gonna work a little bit on blending out my treehouse, making it look a little bit more realistic. So as you're finishing up your drawing today, I hope you spend more time once this video is done finishing up your drawing. I can't wait to see them. I miss you all. And I hope that you join me next week. We will be drawing silly spring bunnies. Happy drawing.